Beatty. I'm pharmacist and professional affairs advisor at PGU, the pharmaceutical group of the European Union. PGU is a European association representing community pharmacies across 31 European countries, including Turkey. I will provide you with an overview of the role of pharmacists in vaccination across the different European countries and provide you as well with an overview of several successful implemented practices in some European countries. So I've identified four uh, main areas where community pharmacists have a very important contribution to play in vaccination. The first one is identifying and reminding target groups for vaccinations. These can be, for instance, for the flu seasons, can be elderly people and chronic patients that are targeted by the national vaccination recommendations, but there are as well um, people that seek advice on travel medication, where they also have to be reminded of the necessary travel vaccinations. Community pharmacists are also increasingly supported in this role. This, for instance, through having access to electronic reminder systems that are integrated in the pharmacy dispensing software, as well as having access already in some countries to electronically shared vaccination records, where both the prescriber, pharmacist, for instance the hospital, has access to the full schedule uh, of vaccinations from, from the patient. An additional important role is, of course, uh, for the pharmacist to provide evidence-based information and advice on vaccination and to participate in national um, advocacy and awareness raising campaigns on vaccinations. Community pharmacists can utilize their highly visible and very geographically accessible network of pharmacies to provide evidence-based information and also to tackle all the doubts that are there today with the increase of vaccine hesitancy across Europe. It's very important that patients have solid information both on the benefits, risks, and effectiveness of the different vaccines. And community pharmacists are, of course, as trained healthcare providers, excellently positioned um, since they also receive not only the sick part of the population, but also the well part. Thirdly, um, administrations of vaccines in pharmacies is also becoming increasingly implemented in different European countries. And I'm going to zoom in in a couple of minutes on this, but uh, already in seven European countries, uh, community pharmacists can provide a service within the pharmacy. And we see that in those countries, community pharmacies really can target people that have never been vaccinated before. And therefore, this service is extremely complementary with existing services for instance, the ones that are already provided by the general practitioners. So as mentioned, these are the seven European countries uh, in which uh, community pharmacists can already administer vaccinations uh, in the pharmacy. So these are uh, Ireland, United Kingdom, France, Portugal, Switzerland, uh, Malta and Denmark. In several European countries, vaccinations can also be provided within the pharmacy, so the, the geographical location, but provided by other healthcare professionals. For instance, in rural areas to increase the access to the, for, to the population. Okay? As you can see on the map, uh, there's a spread across Europe, but mainly also in Nordic countries this is used. And for instance, and I'll zoom in on that later as well, but for instance, Estonia has joined this group um, since last flu season. Important to note is that not only flu vaccinations can be delivered in the countries where community pharmacies vaccinate. In exception of France, which has just uh, launched the flu vaccination service in community pharmacies, all other countries, community pharmacies can also provide additional vaccinations, such as several travel vaccines, HPV, and so on. So we'll now zoom in on certain case studies which highlight the impact and the importance of community pharmacy services uh, around vaccination. The first example is Ireland. In Ireland, community pharmacies were able to uh, administer vaccinations since the 2011-2012 flu season. And since then, the overall number of, of vaccines distributed has increased by 48%. Very important to note is that, as you can see also in the graph, the number of vaccines distributed by the general practitioners have also increased in that period, which shows that uh, community pharmacies, which today in Ireland administer 15% of the flu vaccinations in the country, 
um, that since the establishment of the service, both the overall vaccination coverage got up, but also the number of um, flu vaccines distributed by the general practitioners got up, which shows uh, the well complementarity of both services. In Ireland, uh, pharmacists can also deliver other vaccinations, such as pneumococcal and uh, shingles vaccines. This survey is a survey done by the Irish Pharmacy Union, shows also the high satisfaction of, uh, of the public with the service and has highlighted that uh, many new um, patients were vaccinated for the first time because of the community pharmacy. In France, this is a more uh, recent establishment of the survey. Um, in France, in 2017, the French um, authority allowed um, the pharmacists to conduct a pilot for flu vaccination. In the 2017-2018 pilot, the flu vaccination was then launched in two pilot regions in France, yeah, of which almost 60% of the pharmacies present in that region participated, and more than 150,000 vaccinations were delivered within one flu season. In 2018-2019, this pilot was then enlarged yeah, to two extra regions, and also um, an additional target population was added. This uh, highlighted again very good results uh, for the pharmacist. Now they were also able to, um, to, provide, or to provide the vaccination to all, targeted, all adults targeted by the vaccine recommendations. And as of the 1st of March 2019, all pharmacists in France are allowed to vaccinate, of course subject to certain criteria. As it is in all other countries, community pharmacists in France, of course, first have to have a proper vaccination training, which covers both practical aspects and theoretical aspects, and they need to have a private consultation space in the pharmacy to provide the vaccination to the patient. Future prospects are within discussions of the French health law that it also would be uh, extended to other potential uh, vaccines. These are just um, some numbers from um, the UK and England, which shows uh, the high impact community pharmacists have also in the UK in administering flu vaccinations. For instance, you can see that in 2006 and 2017, almost 1 million flu vaccinations were delivered by community pharmacists, and that 99% of patients would have their vaccination in a pharmacy again. In Portugal, pharmacists can already vaccinate since 2007, but as one of the only countries, patients uh, still need to have a prescription and um, the, the flu administration service is also not yet reimbursed um, by the NHS. So, the last year there has been a pilot in one municipality where also um, pharmacists were allowed to administer the vaccine without the need for a medical prescription and the administration costs were also covered. So the first results again showed very good um, impact from the service on the municipality and showing that the community pharmacist uh, contributed to an increase of more than 30% of the vaccination coverage in the flu municipality. Lastly, this is the uh, example mentioned also in Estonia, where other healthcare professionals can provide the vaccination within the community pharmacy. Because of the very good distribution of community pharmacies in Estonia and the very low um, flu vaccination coverage rate that is present in the country, the government decided to also um, do a pilot within the Estonian pharmacies. This was a small pilot you know, on a small scale, um, but with 15 pharmacies, they were able to, um, within 15 pharmacies, uh, almost 10,000 people received their flu shot in the pharmacy, of which 70% of these people were um, vaccinated for the first time against flu. And this is a picture from our Estonian member showing that um, in the Estonian pharmacies, the people really were queuing to get their flu vaccine delivered in the pharmacy because of its convenience and its accessibility. Of course, also in Estonia, a private counseling room for vaccination is needed. So I hope I was able to provide you with, um, with an extensive overview of um, vaccination services by community pharmacists in Europe. There's a wide range of uh, services in which pharmacists participate, all very important, but mainly we see also that when it comes to administration of vaccinations, the community pharmacists are one 
targeted by national and European recommendations and as well that these services should prove to be very complementary with existing services, especially when it comes to reaching people that were vaccinated for the first time. Thank you very much.